All right, everybody. So here's what came in the mail today. It's a tomahawk style bearded axe that is meant to replace my chopper knife I broke last fall. So I'm kind of switching the uh, set of tools I'm carrying for when I go camping. Start from the bottom here. Got a little fish of mine there. So it's an American hickory handle. Comes with this nice knot work design in it. As we come farther up here, it has elder Futhrock runes carved into it. It's uh it's got a head on it that is 1060 high carbon steel. Comes with a nice leather sheath. And uh, let's get this off here. This leather sheath. And it came with an okay edge. It's kind of a steep edge. I'd like maybe a little bit of a sharper one. Um, but there's a few things we got to fit and finish on here. First of all, if we look here, look how crooked that sits on there. Okay. Not only that, but it's got a set pin. Which is actually going to weaken this wood over time. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the set pin off. And then we're going to try to fit this on the handle properly. So I'm going to get this off quick. And uh, we'll see how much work we got to do to fit and finish the uh, handle to the head here. Alright. So I got that little set pin out. I tried pounding a little bit to get it out. And uh, it's, it's on there tight. So it's a snug fit. Um, if we look at the bottom and stuff here, like there's not like any gaps. Like it's got a pretty nice fit. Same thing with the uh, the top here. It ain't bad. There's a little bit of a gap now, but I mean, look at this. That's uh, that's a lot of material I'm gonna have to take off here. Um, luckily, they gave me I don't know probably a good inch work with so I'm not gonna have to shave off so much where I uh, you know I run out of wood here and the, and the heads gonna fly off the end of the handle but I definitely got a little bit of work to do to fit and finish this so um, this is on there pretty stiff so I got to keep pounding on this and uh, I'll show you when I'm done getting this thing off all right finally got this damn thing off it was too too wide even up uh, below it, so they really forced this thing on. And just, I mean, look at that. That's just, that's just shoddy. So, fortunately though, we got enough material to work with. We can uh, make this look pretty. We can make it function the way it's supposed to. And uh, we'll even, look at this for a second. Oh yeah. We're probably, a little bit of burrs in there. That ain't helping either, it's digging into the wood. So, we're going to take a file, and we're going to make this nice and smooth and pretty. And we're going to work on the handle, and then this thing's going to function the way it's supposed to. So, ain't bad. I'll get back to you. Alright, did all the sanding. I got it fit, finished. I did lose a little strip of wood there. Just kind of peeled off of me, but that's fine. That'll be okay. Um, I had to shave a lot off of my knife here. Um, but, I mean, it fits on good. Um, here, let me get it adjusted here and I'll put it on here for you. There we go. Look at that. Fits on nice and easy. It's nice and straight now. There's no wiggle to it. It just fits on like a glove. So, um, 
this handle material it was actually uh, it was too thick right here that's why I had such a hard time getting it off so I had to sand it down pretty far as you can see as the wood changes color here so um, pretty much it just got to put an edge on it and that'll be pretty much it for the day well I was sharpening it sharpening it and I touched it I'd have to say it's uh, it's pretty razor sharp at this point all right now that we got her all finished here got a nice razor sharp edge here we got the head properly fitted to the handle and I'd say most of the work's done I might um, do some something here because as you can see I had to do some sanding and stuff so the wood's a lot lighter up here now than it is down here Maybe I'll just leave it because I'm just using it as a tool anyways, and this will this will all uh, you know look the same eventually anyways, just from weathering. Um, but let's talk about the reason why I bought this thing. First of all, I wanted uh, like a tomahawk, pretty much. Um, this used to be my knife right here. Um, this was my chopper. I used a chopper knife. This is what I used for all my bushcraft stuff. Um, I bought this thing when I was pretty young. Um, I think I was like 12 or 13 years old when I got this knife, and it lasted me, you know, what, 17, 18 years, something like that, almost 20 years, and the, the end broke off on it while I was batoning. I was batoning on it to split wood, um, and it finally just broke on me, so what I'm replacing this with is I'm going to have this. This is my uh, BPS knives. Um, it's a nice full tang knife, the wood handle. Thing's razor sharp. It's got a, as you can see here, it's got a Scandi grind. And I really like it a lot. But I'm not going to sit and baton on stuff all day. Um, I don't want to break the tip off of this knife. It, it's going to happen eventually. So I bought this thing. This is going to be my my little camp knife. Uh, you know, if I got to carve something or uh, cut meat or whatever it may be at camp, I got this knife for that. No. Um, as far as gathering wood and stuff like that, um, this is what this is for. So I wanted it like a tomahawk, but I wanted something with a little bit longer blade this is six inches and it's got a hook on it it's got a beard so I can uh, grab wood with it I don't got to bend over it so much um, this comes with a nice leather sheath as you saw before um, that's pretty much it um, I cut this thing just sharp as hell now um, you know I did cut my finger um, so I got the first uh, cut out of the way on myself so not bad um, anyways I'm just rambling now um, it's got a nice fit to it now doesn't doesn't wiggle or anything um, so hopefully in another video I'll be able to uh, you know go test her out I'm not gonna do it today um, yeah, we'll see how it works some other time. But, yeah, so I got the handle finished. Got an edge put on it. And, uh, it's pretty much it. It's fit and finished now. So, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.